XG Firewall version 18 offers a new and powerful way to filter web traffic and perform SSL inspection on encrypted web payloads. In this short video, we will compare the new DPI-based filtering with the legacy web proxy, explain why you might want to use one over the other, and show you how to control which is used in policy configuration. We will start by looking at the differences between DPI and web proxy filtering. DPI implements proxyless filtering handled by the IPS engine. It provides port agnostic protocol detection and supports the partial or full offload of traffic flows to the network fast path. It can decrypt and scan TLS 1.3 traffic and offload to the traffic trusted by Sophos Labs. In comparison, you may want to use the web proxy filtering to enforce safe search or YouTube restrictions or because your clients are configured to use the XG firewall as an explicit proxy. Let's take a closer look at how the traffic is processed in each of these scenarios. With the DPI engine and separate SSL TLS inspection rules, the controls available in the web filtering section have changed. Using the configuration shown here, all of the traffic will be handled by the new faster DPI engine for IPS, and proxyless web filtering and SSL decryption on any port for HTTP and HTTPS using port agnostic protocol identification. In this configuration, the SSL TLS inspection rules are used to manage the decryption of secure web traffic. Using the DPI engine allows the XG firewall to offload safe traffic to the fast path. This is done for traffic that the XG firewall qualifies as being safe or that matches identities for Sophos Labs' trusted traffic. If you enable the web proxy, then HTTP and HTTPS traffic on ports 80 and 443 will be processed by the legacy web proxy for decryption, web policy and content scanning before being handed to the DPI engine for application control and IPS. HTTP or HTTPS traffic on other ports will still be handled by the DPI engine. The legacy web proxy is also used in explicit proxy configurations. When the web proxy is being used, none of the traffic can be offloaded to the fast path. This includes any traffic that matches identities for Sophos Labs trusted traffic. Let's have a look at the configuration in the XG firewall. You can select between using DPI-based web filtering or the existing proxy-based web filter retained from version 17.5, existing installations upgraded from version 17.5 to version 18.0 can still perform the web filter with the existing implementation and can be switched over to using the DPI filtering later if desired. So in the XG firewall, from the control center, navigate to rules and policies in the left-hand menu. Select to add a new firewall rule and give it a name. Select the action to accept and fill in the necessary parameters of the firewall rule. Now let's focus on the web filtering section. In the web policy column, start by selecting a web filtering policy from the drop down menu. If you see the warning message, this policy includes options that can be enforced by the web proxy only. It indicates that the policy is configured for the setting that is not supported by the DPI engine. For example, this would include safe search enforcement, YouTube restrictions, or if you would like to use farming protection. For these use cases, you will need to use the traditional web proxy. In the content scanning column, you can enable malware scanning options in much the same way as in version 17.5. The new web proxy column of options controls whether it is the DPI engine or web proxy that will perform the filtering. By default, in a new firewall rule, the DPI engine will be used as these options are not selected. By selecting Use the web proxy transparently to scan traffic on ports 80 and 443, HTTP and HTTPS sessions on port 80 and 443 will be processed by the web proxy and will not be submitted to the DPI engine. Use the option Decrypt HTTPS traffic scanned by the web proxy to perform decryption of HTTPS traffic on port 443 or any other custom port you have configured or the direct proxy mode. To conclude, the new DPI engine is able to protect HTTP and HTTPS traffic on any port using protocol detection 
and, most importantly, it makes use of FastPath offloading, which improves performance. However, you may still want to use the legacy web proxy to enforce safe search or YouTube restrictions, or because your clients are configured to use the XG firewall as an explicit proxy. Thank you for watching.